Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly math video. In this video we are going to take a look at the following series and it happens to be what is called a telescoping series and we'll see what that looks like in just a minute. Hi, I'm Christy and I make weekly math videos and I post them so that you can increase your knowledge of various topics in mathematics. I am a math teacher and also math tutor and I enjoy bringing these videos to you um, and I hope that they're helpful and if you do find that they're helpful, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel already. All of these things help other people just like you to find these videos and get help with their math classes. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this following series. In this series, we would like to sum up an infinite amount of terms from the third term to the infinite term of five divided by n minus two times n plus three. And the first thing we have to do is what's called partial fraction decomposition. And what I mean by that is that the fraction five over n minus two times n plus three can be written as the sum of two fractions. And so the way that I would write it out is that would be the sum of, I'm gonna call it a divided by n minus two plus b divided by n plus three. And so I'm kind of, it, to me, it almost reminds me of undoing the common denominators. So this is what it would have been prior to combining these. And then if I wanted to get common denominators, well, this one would need to, need to have been multiplied by n plus three. And then this one over here would have needed to be multiplied by, whoops, let me go back, n minus two in the numerator and denominator. And let me throw this in parentheses and this in parentheses. And so at this point, you would see that all of them would have common denominators. So if we multiply both sides by the common denominator n minus two times n plus three, you can see that all of those denominators would cancel. And then I would have five equals a times n plus three plus b times n minus two. And now I need to solve for the values of a and b. And what I think is the easiest way to solve for a and b is thinking about what you can let n equal and do this strategically to make one of the terms cancel. What I mean by that is the first one is I'm going to let n equal negative three. Because you see if n equals negative three, then this term would go to zero or that factor would go to zero. And so I would get five equals b times, let's see, negative three minus two, negative five, and then you can see that b is equal to negative one. And then also, strategically, if I let, alternatively, n equal positive two, then that goes to zero, and then I would have five equals a times five, and so a equals one. So now I can rewrite this summation, rewrite this series using these partial fraction from partial fraction decomposition. So then I would have the summation from n equals three to infinity of, let's see, a was one, so I would have one over n minus two, and then b was negative one, so I would have minus one over n plus three. And I'm gonna look at this series instead, and we're gonna notice some patterns, like I said earlier. It's actually gonna be a telescoping series, so you'll see all these terms cancel. Um, it's kind of fun to see. And then it makes finding this series um, a whole lot easier. Another thing I did wanna mention that you could have done in case you're like, wait, that seems so much easier, is you could have thought about what do I need to do to change that to a one? So you could have thought about this as going from n equals one to infinity of, let's see, five divided by, and if you wanted that n to then be a three when you first plug it in, that would have to change to n plus 
2. So then it'd be n plus 2 minus 2, which would be n as the first one. And then the second one, if you wanted this n to be a 3 when you first plug it in, again, it would have to be n plus 2. So n plus 2 plus 3 would be n plus 5. And so you could actually change the problem to the problem that I have in green first and then do partial fraction decomposition. So I don't know, something interesting to think about. What I love about certain math problems is that there are several creative ways to solve it. That's one of my favorite things. And if you find another creative way to solve this same problem, go ahead and put a comment below. I love reading those comments about various ways that uh, you solve these problems. So at this point, you know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in values, starting with 3. So let's see, the first term would be, if I just kind of explore this and see what's happening, that'd be 1 divided by 3 minus 2, or 1 divided by 1, minus 1, 6. So that would be the first term, again, if I plugged in and n equals 3. And also what's interesting if, is if you had done partial fraction decomposition with uh, the series in green, the first term would also be 1 minus 1, 6. So it's kind of cool that you get the same thing. Because it's a series, it's a sum, so I'm going to sum up. Let's see the next term. If I plug in 4, I would have 1 half minus 1 seventh. Hmm. I still don't think I see anything canceling out or anything interesting happening yet. So let's keep going. Let's see, I plugged in three and four. Let's plug in five. So that'd be one third minus one eighth. Darn, still nothing. All right, let's do six. One over six minus two is one fourth minus one ninth. There we Still don't see anything canceled, but just wait, it's coming, it's coming. So then plus, let's see, three, four, five, six, I think I'm on seven. So one over seven minus two, and then minus one tenth. All right, still nothing. Let's plug in eight, one over eight minus two, one sixth, minus one over 11. And this is where I'm finally noticing something. Let me just carry out one more so we can see what's happening. It was at 8, so 9, 1 over 9 minus 2 is 1 7th, minus 1 over 12, and then I would keep going uh, an infinite amount of times. All right, I finally can see where the telescoping is happening. So in the first term, I had a minus 1 6th, and then that positive 1 6th showed up right here. So it showed up 1, 2, 3, 4, five terms later. So what will happen is the second element, meaning in this case like that negative one-sixth or the negative one-seventh, for example, will cancel five terms later. So similarly, this negative one seventh. So the second element will cancel one, two, three, four, five terms later. And that'll keep happening. So this negative one eighth will cancel five terms later. This negative one ninth will cancel five terms later. This negative one tenth will cancel five terms later. Same with the negative one eleventh and same with the negative one twelfth. And that'll keep happening. So take a look at what we have now. What do we have left? What we have left is 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth and plus 1 fifth. And that's it. And so now we just need to add those terms together. So once again, I'm adding 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth and plus 1 fifth. Adding those, what is it, five numbers is what will give us the answer to this series. And let's see, from here it's just a little bit of algebra, uh, getting common denominators. So with those numbers, 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and 1, I think the common denominator would be 60, if I've got that right. So then I would have 60 plus 30 plus 20 plus 15 and plus 12. And so rewriting this would be 60. And let's see, that would be 7. 7 
I think 137. So there is my answer to that series, 137 divided by 60. And this happened to be a telescoping series because as I wrote out subsequent terms, I saw these terms all cancel and give a nice, very simplified sum to find the answer. All right, everyone, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Like I said, comment below if you have any questions or if you saw a unique approach to this problem. I love hearing about that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to click that subscribe button so that you're notified of weekly videos as they are posted. I hope you have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.